Okay, so I have an idea. Um, we have about, I mean, I can't remember, probably two to three hundred. Or actually, no, it's more pieces than that. I think they, they're bringing more. So all of these are reversible jerseys. Have some more over there. Uh, and so we need to cure, be able to cure a bit faster. So I have the large format press. I also have this uh, plywood board. Uh, they had to cut it. Uh, that's what we use for the uh, 50 by 60 inch blankets because this is a 31 by 39. So I'm thinking if I cover this with the uh, butcher paper, um, set this to 999 seconds. So I, I already attempted it yesterday so that it doesn't prematurely beep and annoy us at the shop. Uh, and I remove this cover sheet and the, the bottom foam pad. Uh, and then slide this. Oh, it's probably gonna scratch it up, but hang on, let me mount this so I don't scratch my press. Maybe a little bit lower so you can see the gap. Maybe there is okay. And then, um, so the idea is that that gap should be enough to set an entire yard, even though it's 36 inches, I'll probably give myself some, some space. And then just cover that. It's not going to be perfectly even. Let me check through the camera. Yeah, but you can see how it never touches. I should be able to cure each yard with no problem, I think. Uh, the fumes, I'm a little, not nervous about the fumes, but we'll just see. I'm not a fear monger, uh, so usually the fumes, when I cure on the Geonite, oh yeah, it's a mess, I just fixed the carriage belt on the 7890 yesterday, so usually the Geonite, the fumes will kind of go straight up into, because this is a, a retail space, so the fumes usually go straight up through there. And I'm hoping it'll do the same back here. But we'll just test it and see. Again, this is a temporary solution for me. But I wasn't even thinking on that level. Uh, you know, because now the 7890 pumps the prints out pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, so I think that this will be a nice alternative just for pumping this order out until I can get a commercial uh, shaker and dryer in. We don't even have the space up here, but uh, I'm sure we'll be moving soon because this is getting uh, crazy. It's a blessing though. Uh, but yeah, I don't know who all has a large format press, but that's at least the idea behind it. Uh, so yeah, we're just working through these issues as they arise, but it's it's great to, to have more work coming in. So I hope this helps someone. Okay, on second thought, uh, you know, I didn't even think about, um, I don't even have a powdering station that's uh, 23 and three quarters wide. Uh, or 24 inches wide so I guess maybe because <laughs> yeah this isn't gonna work it served me up until now but to knock this order out your stuff everywhere so I have to clean that up today but yeah I need to be able to cure this a lot faster uh, so I'm gonna head over to Walmart and see if they have some sort of uh, bin or <laughs> like a storage bin or something like that uh, that we could speed this process up with Okay, so let's let's do it.
Okay, we are back. This is the old powdering station. Don't want to get this stuff everywhere. Uh, firstly, we need to get the silica pack out. It really doesn't matter, but I just really want to show you. So we do this to absorb any sort of moisture that may occur. Just drop that in there. That's why I wanted one with a lid, a, a container with a lid. And these are in the link of the description. These are silica packs. They just absorb moisture. And this is how they come. And these are resettable, but I, I wouldn't, they say you can reset them in the microwave, but I wouldn't do that after you use these. So that's just in case you want that information, it's in the link of the description. I'm just gonna dump this in here, Don't worry about the rest later. bring everything over to this side so I'll end up laying the sheet the 24 inch sheet I'll basically have it like this bring the sheet in at an angle brush it tilt it and that seems like it'll be a lot more manageable okay so far so good uh, so I had to when I tape this uh, most of the tape is exposed on the bottom side uh, but I need to be careful with this because the crown if you know about construction stuff the crown of the board is the part where the board arcs at the top but the crown of the board is actually on the bottom side which means that it's gonna bow a little bit so I can't exactly get too close you know which is still not touching but it's not as low as if the crown were on the top because I could lay the sheet on one of the edges and where it arch arches you know like if it were on the right side it would be better um, so that's where we are right now I'm gonna go ahead and probably do a time lapse or whatever we need to get these jerseys printed but I still want to record it for you guys so we'll see where we're at in a little bit okay so I do believe we have the settings set up we have the uh, the bin set up with our new powder the 7800 set up and then I'll be sending these files over from Acrobat and we'll see how our workflow is going to be now okay uh, uh, which numbers did you need Jose? which numbers did you need from that, that other order? I thought it was, I know it was something So a whole set of 14, a whole set of 30, and then one, three, like for the back. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to just, I'm going to run this one next. So just, you know, we'll be finished with that one. And those are both the uh, child. Oh yeah, the whole the whole one of that one was the. All right, so we said. Actually, let me pull this whole. All right. This is you. Uh, we said, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need to order the lightning one. Uh, mm hmm. So I need two sets, and then. Boom, boom, 30 and 14, one set of three.
So the three was the one you only needed one side. So that means that I need So this will be the 30 backs, one set of three, 14, so I need four, two 14 backs. Yeah, that's the front and back. Let's just make this easier. Right. 30, 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, Cue this one up. Open this. Is wait, what is this set to? Oh, This is weird. Okay. Oh, I see Moss. Twenty three and a half, thirty six. Okay, that's better. Air this, and we'll be ready to print this next one. Settings are the same. But yeah, I'm interested to uh, to powder this print like <laughs> in a buck in a bin. We'll see how this. Uh... So I still have I'm trying to find out where I left off. I think we were on. I think this is where we were on escape. We finished the blacks, so actually we're probably here. So that's an extra one. So 32. Well, it's already set. Let's have an extra. 
Hey, do it him. Can you do another? Yeah. <laughs> Be a parent. Number 33. Like, bingo, we got you. We got you, bucko. Uh huh. Oh, that was the one. Yeah. Tear, tearing up our count. And so the rest of this will just be a time lapse now that we have a formula. <laughs> but uh, I'll probably trim it in half. That way it's easier to manage. I can still put both peat sheets on there, but yeah, that's that's a bit much because it's already gonna be here. And I think I'll have that come out a little bit closer. Okay, so uh, so this this is okay. I gotta get this. This I mean it's somber, but so uh, my wife Lacey, her grandma used to be a a quilter. And so she always talked about like, oh, maybe some of your equipment could probably help me like with her stuff. And so that brother scanning cut I got when I was looking at that, they make it for quilters. So like right before she passed, that was something that we were kind of talking about. And so I was like, oh, they got this thing where you could just scan your uh, the patterns in because she used to cut those patterns on that. So she's done hundreds of quilts for competitions off of this cutting it with the rotary cutter so uh when she passed because my wife lost all three of her grandparents in one year due to COVID, basically so uh when we were going through the stuff uh lacy asked me if i could use if i thought i could use this mat and so i said well i'll just take it up to the shop i'll probably use it or whatever and so i figured i'm gonna always find a place to use this with the business because if you just think of she used that for hundreds and hundreds of quilts like when you flip it over it's like it's got a whole lot of um uh, yeah just for the marks oh, okay. yeah so okay. i mean deep cuts just from doing that so yeah so but that's just something that was a nice touch but i never told any you know i just didn't tell anybody but but yeah so since you asked bro that's the yeah man so it'll always be up here in some way you find some use for it so I've, I've cut on it and stuff too so but yeah the rest of this will be a, a time lapse and then y'all see us running around here until we get these jerseys knocked out all right stay tuned
so we were able to cure 20 yards of film and we're still uh, curing more of these numbers and we have a good consistency fine because the crown of the, the crown of the board is like that so the center of it doesn't want to cure and then the edges of it want to touch oh that's the alarm yeah you can't tell but the center doesn't want to cure unless it's perfectly set and so we even have a weight here to push the top part of the platen down some so you can see it's pretty even until you get to that size so need to weigh it down weight it down some more but yeah so far it's working we've got probably 20 something I think close to 15 yards left to print and we'll be pressing these jerseys as well at the same time to gain some some of our workflow back and we'll get them knocked out stay tuned so this is day four or whatever. Uh, and so uh, I'm doing these jerseys. It's sort of early in the morning. Uh, we are still curing with the Geo Night Action. Or not, we are still. <laughs> yeah, I'm running. We're doing 16 hour days. Uh, so yeah, I'm tired. But we are here and we are blessed. So we'll get that going. Um, large format, that's where we're curing. <laughs> have these weights as I mentioned before just to keep the plywood sort of um, weight down on the edges from buckling tire shops a mess we've just been yeah making this thing work so um, yeah so these are all the lists I don't want to get too close there's personal information or whatever but yeah these are all the different lists of the teams uh, and we have all these numbers printed and trimmed up in the different colors uh we have several teams to finish today numbers everywhere jerseys not so much everywhere so it's a good thing <laughs> yeah um those are finished okay oh yeah so we have more hiding back here uh but this has been a journey. We're going to finish these up. I've done several time lapses, so I think that's like kind of enough. I might uh, do one more time lapse just to be thorough because we've come this far. And again, this is after I fixed the belt on the 7890. So this has been a godsend that I was able to make the repair myself. And we are moving forward. Stay elegant. Marked them. 34. Uh, the question marks are 21. So I'm missing that one. Right. How's it going? All right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, is that another one for another team? Uh, I got uh. Well, it's for this one over here. Oh, now you want to make sure what's from mine. Just look what I just pulled up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. You got to make it the, the top. Though. Okay. All right. For sure. That's everything for this one. I just wanted to have a game plan before we hit this. Okay. Yeah, that's the question mark. So, 21. Bruh. It must be like a son. No. <laughs> bad word. How's it going, man? Hey, hey. <laughs> you need your time. Man. Yeah, I cannot find missing a team somewhere. Man, I don't think we're going to be able to do your team till tomorrow night, man. Okay. <laughs> you say, okay? I'm, I'm knocking on the door. <laughs> no, nah, they're all ready. It's ready. Okay. I, I didn't well, get I'm every. To think, I don't even remember seeing them. I don't either. No, no, the rock. The, they ain't the rockets. Yeah, there's a six shoe rocket. We checked them off. We said they were done. I don't even remember it. This is one we were. The lions. I'm on my. I'm like going to go find some jerseys since they ain't been here. Plus they did. See the red. It's the red rockets. Here. We go black on them. Right, they done. Oh, yeah, look at that, man. This is what the night. These two nights. That's ain't a night bag. Someone come on and take a run and start and kick me dead in it. <laughs> they changed the name. I know what. You know, you know what did. I'm up there. I think we done messed up, man. Yeah. I know, I know what happened. Because we kept saying it wasn't a night. And you did the team. The two, the last name was two of them. Yeah. And, yeah, and I dispersed. So I got enough jerseys to make it happen. Let me see. I gave away all his shorts, everything. I'm thinking I did. Because they had six shoe knights on the bag, and it should have said six shoe rockets. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I like, we ain't never seen that. Yeah. And then Jefferson, I'm missing. Bro, I told you to look in the bag. Two cats just grabbed it and walked off. You got one of the masks here. Six shoe? Yeah. From the 12. Yeah. Hey, he come up here and get it. I'll tell him to come up here and get it. Little whiff, two times. What? Little whiff. It's only a little whiff. Okay, little whiff. The bag. It came back. Yeah, I can put the cheat sheet. I got a cheat sheet to take care of that. So all of them go through the bag before you leave. Is KJ in your chair? Yeah, my, my, my daughter, I told you, she was an uh, Israelite, so she she get on us all the time. And I told her, I, I told her, I said, baby girl, this is what I'm telling you. I said, I have no problem with what you do, you never have. I said, but you can't do like old Baptist preachers. You can't scare it into me, you can't shout it into me. I said, as long as you believe Jesus Christ, that's how I do it. I said, other than that, we good. Well, I'm not coming home until y'all stop eating baked any of y'all. Stop doing this. Listen, listen. Now, you know what I did. 
Oh, when Brandy Keith just threw some bacon in the <laughs> on the bed. I said, baby girl, I said, don't. I said, that's not how God operates. You yeah, ain't never took nobody because you made them do anything. I, like, I understand you excited and my, my son-in-law running around all the time. They ain't woke. They ain't woke in this house. They ain't woke. <laughs> Yeah. They ain't woke. They ain't woke. I'm like, bro. They tore, they tore a terrace, huh, baby? Yeah, I just tell them all the time. So yeah, I ain't. Understand. I'm woke now. <laughs> I, 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 I was trying to sleep. <laughs> our side of the family from South, I'm on my side from uh, South Florida. Yeah. Well, that's where Yahweh, but Yahweh were killing everybody, you know, that cult and talking about it in the name of the black Israelites. Mm. And you know, like with every religion, y'all, we got those the extremists. Extremes. Yeah, so I told her, I said, baby, girl, we've been on this point a little bit longer than you. I said, we seen firsthand, you know what I mean? They keep that dude at like 97 kids, tell him that everybody's wife was, God had blessed them to be his wife. And, man, it's crazy. But I keep telling her, I said, just relax. We, we could beef hot dogs if you want them. We, we, you know, we... Yeah, and I want to tell people, guys, y'all scare people out of... We ain't going to listen That's to where you. That's where they get the bad reps from. Yeah. yeah. We don't need turkey either. I, I told, told you, and they all, uh, several of them, moved way out, 80 miles outside El Paso, about 50 acres each. Ooh, so, 50 acres? Huh? Ooh, 50 each, acres. each. Yeah, yeah, but in, in, in lot that don't know one a lot more. No running no water, you got to add water to it. Yeah. They, they do. But I like we I'm tell them. I'm just pressing Tracy. I'm trying to see no jerseys around. You got your folk outside. You need shirts? I got you. If I, if I come in here tomorrow and I don't see jerseys, I've done, I've done a little bit. Treat me that way. So, so that mean I need to find six huge, medium, one large, two small. Yeah, that's right. Let me answer all these. How you just text me? Uh, he texted me too, would you? Oh. Derek, we got, we got, a, we got a mask one here. Yeah, let me go. I tried to call him. He kept going to voicemail. Is there two? Because we just got one right here. I don't know. I'm really... See, this is why African-American booty scratches get in trouble. How you look at it before you left? I did. I know, but you still, they don't mind. We got the number ones up in the shop getting done now. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> because you could text 12 people, then text everybody, send up smoke signals, down the street doing the walk tussy, and you start doing the butterfly, the tussie roll. All that. Try to make sure we do. He might go by on me, baby. Look, look, I couldn't, I couldn't help it, but no. <laughs> yeah, well, one of them wasn't supposed to be there. No, you weren't supposed to be there on Thursday night. This week, you were supposed to be there Friday. It's your fault. Yeah. Yeah, you were supposed to be there on Friday. You were supposed to be there tomorrow. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh, don't start laughing now. Oh, yeah. Man. The gym messed everything. He wasn't supposed to be in the gym. Oh, he wasn't in the gym. Yeah. It was the six you may have had no business being in that gym. Oh, I thought you was calling. 
Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. I was getting jerseys, doing meetings, Zoom meetings, and all that. That's it, Mr. Carl. That's all. Uh, Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. High point. Yeah, yeah. You, they share gyms. I ain't got, I ain't got enough gym space for all of these. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It went out. You got, you got this week's schedule. I told you to send the coaches to me so I can add them to the list. But go to quickscores.com. Type in North Texas Basketball Association. There we go, Jane. Yeah, you can tell it. Same quick score as well. Can you tell that? Okay. <laughs> no, no, but your, I put it under your email and it said it went through. Yep. Yep. Quick scores. Yeah, quickscores.com. Type in North Texas Basketball Association. Yo. Yo. Send me that because those are all custom uniforms. That's what I'm gonna say. You ain't missing nothing, man. Cause yeah, you ain't missing nothing. No, call me on the lady, man. All right. Bye. I, I, I got 47 text messages meant to go by crap like this. They didn't even check. They didn't even check. That's what makes me mad. You don't even look. How much is this stuff doing now? We don't, we, people don't have no more. <laughs> so Jefferson said he was missing what? Two and? Jefferson said he was missing two. Two kids. Two kids. We got one right here and a 12. Let me ask the number. Wait, you, you got two over there? Or one? I need number four. Can you find me a set of four? What do we got over here? Uh, every, only thing over here is for this. Uh, I got some four over here. Yeah. You said, what's the number? 44. Mm -hmm. That's 44. Uh, for this. Now, it could be that there's more sets than I need. I know, because I did have two. And I got 24. Hey, so what, what, what's the name of your team? Yeah, I think I have two 44s on mine. And you said AU hey, Magic's yeah. missing a uniform? Yeah, two sets, 44. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Magic. Okay. I just need What's the number and what's the size? Because we got extra here at the shop. You hear me? Is this Okay, well, James Page. Okay, all right. Let me find this one. And the city hide with me. I missed my I missed my Zoom meeting. <laughs> 